is in love with herself. Grey Wolf Studios. What's up, guys? This is Grey Wolf. We're back with another video. Uh, this video is on how to waterproof your servos. And uh, this is actually a pretty easy process. But. Um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I know there's other videos out there of this already, but, uh, you know, sometimes people, sometimes when I watch videos, I feel like, you know, they don't explain everything, and I, I watch two or three different versions and, uh, you know, learn something new in each version that I watch, so I try to take, you know, all the stuff that I've learned from various videos and you know forms and stuff and, and try to kind of incorporate uh, more information into my videos uh, or more comprehensive information into my videos and uh, you know sometimes I don't get everything but I, I like to try so at any rate the, there's there's two steps that we have to do in order to waterproof this servo the first step is we have to waterproof the uh, the the server uh, where the where the splines are here. This piece right here, um, and then we have to come back in and the lines in the case on the top here, and then again on the bottom right here where it opens up. We got to cover both of these up now. For the lines, we're going to be using, uh, you can use either plastic dip or uh, liquid tape. I'm going to be using plastic dip for this. Um, but before we get to that part, we need to, we need to, to go back and waterproof the, uh, the splines right here. So, because we have to actually take it apart to do that. So, and it's really easy to take a servo apart if you've never done it before. It's just four screws on the bottom that you have to take a uh, small precision screwdriver and unscrew. Oh, the other area we're going to be making sure we waterproof too is this area right here where the, uh, the wires come out of the, the case. You got to make sure this part right here is as well waterproofed so water can't seep in through it okay so now we got the four screws out of here um, we're gonna pop the top off of this thing and I'll show you how to waterproof the top portion of it here this is a uh, this is actually a new type of budget servo that I'm trying out. Um, I actually found it off of eBay uh, from a seller whose eBay name is Cheap Servo Man. Um, at least I believe that's what it was, if I remember correctly. And he claims that these are some of the most powerful servos that you can find. Uh, he guarantees a 30-day full money-back guarantee and he'll even pay for the return shipping if you're not happy with it so I figured okay we'll try it out supposedly at 6 volts this has 255 um, ounces of torque and it's supposed to have a response time of uh, 0.13 seconds which is quite impressive now, I don't know if it's going to actually hold up to those specs or not, but that's what he claims it does at 6 volts. Uh, he does have a high power version of this as well that's um, compatible with 7.4 LiPo, and uh, which has even more torque. I forget exactly how much. I want to say it's up, in the, up around the 300 ounce range. Uh, this servo, I believe, I want, I want to say it cost me 25 bucks, maybe 30 So anyway, I figured I'd give it a try and see if it's any good. Um, but before I put it in my kit, I want to waterproof it. So 
anyway let's get back to what we're doing here so we're just going to pop the top off of this right here and I've actually already done this portion of the waterproofing I actually did it before uh, I thought to stop and make a video so basically what you want to do as you can see this is full of white lithium grease um, servos usually come either packed or no well they usually don't come packed but they usually either come with either white lithium grease in them or they come with like a black um, more of a typical black grease uh, type grease in them sometimes it comes with a clear silicone type grease but that's not too often I've, I've only seen that once or twice um, but anyway what you want to do in order to proof waterproof this this spline area is you want to fill up the this gear right here that the spline is attached to with white lithium grease and I actually like to go ahead and put white lithium grease I like to coat uh, give a nice coat of white lithium grease to all the gears um, most of the time your servos don't come with a whole lot of grease on them um, so I just go ahead and I just go ahead and put a nice liberal coat of grease in there and this one's already done again the main thing is just make sure you get around the base of this gear that the spline is attached to that's your main objective but uh, the more grease you got in there you don't want to pack tight but the more grease you got in there the better the chances of it holding up around the area where the splines are so since I've already done that I'm going to go ahead and put it back together I just wanted to show you guys that so let's go ahead and put it back together here okay so now that we got the server back or servo back together we're going to go ahead and proceed with the next step which is the plasti dip stage now there's some areas of this we don't want to get plasti dip on like you know your mounting tabs on either side here you don't want to get plasti dip on those you definitely don't want to get plasti dip on your splines and I don't I don't like to to get plasti dip on the servo labels either um, again our, our main target areas are just the seams around the case so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some masking tape and I'm going to mask this thing up off camera and then I'm going to come back after I get it masked up and show you guys the rest oh and uh, one other thing before I do that I forgot to mention uh, whatever type of grease comes in is it comes in the top of your servo you really you, you need to use the same grease to um, you know to add when you're adding grease in there you want to use the same grease that's already in there so if your servo comes with white lithium grease in there you want to use white lithium if it comes with uh, you know black grease in there you want to use some kind of you know regular black grease um, you know etc etc now if you don't happen to have the kind of grease that comes in it you know comes in it uh, you know by you know comes in it stock then what you need to do is take the gears out of there and actually clean them up and get all of the grease clean all of the grease out of there clean all the grease out of the gears and stuff and then you can just put whatever type of grease you have available in there so anyway let me get this masked off and I'll be back to show you guys the rest okay so we're back and we have the servo and as you can see we have the top of it all masked off except for the creases here around the top and the bottom I went ahead and put a little bit of masking on the bottom because I didn't want to cover up the screws but the lines are still visible so we'll be able to get those masked Let's see if you guys can see this One of these days I'm going to have a better camera in here. I, uh, I've got one 
coming, but uh, unfortunately it's coming from overseas, so it's going to take uh, at least another week or two to get here, probably. Alright, so what we're going to use for this is uh, called Plasti Dip. This comes in different forms. Uh, this is a spray coating that you can coat on, and uh, basically it ends up hardening into a into a um, waterproof rubber and plastic dip comes in a couple different forms it comes in the spray can it comes in a can like this uh, for dipping and it also comes in this this type of, of container called but it's called liquid tape uh, it's not the same brand. It's not called plastic. It's called liquid tape, but it's basically the same exact stuff. The only difference is this bottle is kind of like a rubber cement bottle, where the 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 lid has a brush type applicator attached to it, and you can just brush on the rubber the rubberizing agent. Um, it's a little messy. It's not quite, you don't get even coats like you do with the spray or the dip, uh, but sometimes a brush is really what you need to get into the, you know, into places and, and, and get the liquid tape where you need it to go. But for now, we're going to concentrate on using the spray. And I'm actually going to go spray this off camera, and I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back, and uh, I've applied three coats of the um, the spray-based um, Plasti Dip. So it has a pretty good coating on it. All we should really need to go through and do now is just take off our uh, masking tape, which I'm just going to go in here and cut the plastic with a knife. So like it's still wet under there a little bit. Just gonna cut along where the tape is. I'm try not to take anything off but the tape. Top of it came off pretty nice. And there you have it. This has been plastic dipped. You can't even really tell because the spray can does a really smooth job. You can tell a little bit here on the back side, it's a little puffy. Looks like I put a really thick layer on there and didn't really know it. Yeah, it looks like it's still wet just a little bit. I was a little premature in taking the uh, the tape off. I've got it on my hands now. But at any rate, you get the idea. I'm going to let this dry some more before I mess with it anymore. But that's basically all there is to it. You just take the tape off once it's completely dry. Wait longer than I did, obviously. Uh, take the tape off of it once it's completely dry, and you're ready to go with your new waterproof servo. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.